Hey guys, Ifto here, and today I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your mods on Minecraft. And by that, I mean not actually just downloading one and replacing it with another. I mean actually editing one of the mods so that, say, the generated structure spawn rate changes, or the chest contents change, something like that. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to change a mod and then re upload it, claim it as your own. You know, this is generally just for improving the mod for you and your personal preferences. Now, I apologize for the lack of uploads recently because I've had a lot of exams, but that will all be done by next week so I can start doing more videos come next Friday odd. So as you saw there I went to the start icon and just put in percent app data percent. You may already be familiar with that, it's generally just to get to your .minecraft folder. Alternatively if you're on Windows 7, I'm not sure if this works on 8 but I know it works definitely on 7, hit the Windows button and R at the same time and then hit enter and it'll take you to the same location. So once you're here go into your .minecraft and instead of going into a mods folder you're actually going to go into the config folder and you'll see all the mods that you have here. Now I'm going to be showing the Battle Towers mod, which I've done recently, as an example. Now often some of these won't actually open, it'll, you'll try and load it and it'll say search online for something that will actually let you open the folder, or you can search for a program that you already have on your computer that will open the folder for you. Now the folder, or the, uh, the program I use is just the notepad. Now the notepad is, I think it's a Windows um, default, you know, you will always have notepad if you run Windows 7, presumably Windows 8 as well. So that's one I've used. You could probably use Microsoft Word, I'm not 100% sure. I've not tried using it with that, but it probably would. I've just chosen Notepad here because it's generally a default item. Okay, so once you're in the configuration file, you can start changing stuff to make it more preferable. Now, I, by that I don't mean go in and start deleting entire lines of text, because you might end up corrupting the file, so you'll have to re-download it and start all over. So instead, just look at certain variables that you can change. Now this is of course not a uh, something you want to be starting out with when you've just started using mods. You know, you generally want to have a basic understanding of how like data values work. Now, I do have a video separately on data values for 1.8, so if you want to check the description out for that, then that may be actually quite helpful. For example, here with the chest contents, I can actually change these, but I can't just change them to say, well, I could change one to diamond here because diamond's data value is diamond. But for example, with multiple words where there's stuff like chainmail boots, you need an underscore, stuff like that that you need to learn from the data values. Would be quite useful. So I could change all that and I could also change their spawn rate as well. But also you can another easy one you can do to change is which biomes generate structure spawning. So for example if I didn't want them spawning into the deep ocean I could just change where it says true, gotta keep that equals there, whoops. And then I could just change that to false so that it wouldn't actually spawn there anymore. So there's ones like that that are very quite simple to change. As well as this says down here I've got the distance between two towers, so basically the rarity of the tower. So I could up that to a thousand blocks so that I don't get two spawn too close to each other. And I could also here, I could change the distance from the spawn, because I don't want them to spawn right where I spawn because then it's just going to be, you know, I'm going to be fighting multiple mobs when I've just started the game, so I don't want that. In addition you can change other things like if there's a mob in the game that deals a lot of um, damage to the environment. So for example in this mod there was the big golem at the top of the tower, they would actually blow up the tower when you were trying to fight him because they would shoot like fire, um, like gas, the gas fireballs and it would actually destroy the tower. And I don't want that, I can still have the, the fireball actually do damage and cause fire to me but not to the building itself. Which got a bit annoying because he kept blowing up the chest so I can change that to true because that was a, whoops. That was actually a double negative because I got no golem explosion. So check out stuff like that as well so you don't end up changing something you don't want. Now for example if I was done here and I changed everything I wanted, you just close it down and make sure you hit save so that it definitely saves. Now, okay now I'll, I will quickly show you another one just because they're always quite specific. So for example if I go to animal bikes which was another mod I've showcased before, you'll see that this one is quite different. There's less text and more, it's more basic I guess because it generally wasn't, there wasn't as much added to the mod, it was just um, mod, mobs that you can spawn in that you can ride. So for example I could disable say the spider one, maybe I don't want the spider in the game, so I can set it to true because again this is somewhat of a double negative with disable spider, true meaning it, won't, it will be disabled. And you can scroll down, you can disable any of these, and there's also this as well, remember in the mod where once you craft it, you could use it 16 times before it broke. I thought that was a little bit OP, so I can change that down to 1, so each time it would only have one usage. And I can also add in the saddle recipe as well, and stuff like that. So it's generally pretty good for changing the preferences to however you want, make sure to save every time. 
and that is generally a useful way of making a mod do whatever you want to do you know if you want to play survival and you want it to be you know somewhat difficult then you can make the rarity increase of certain structures or chest loots and stuff like that it's generally a really good way of making you your survival really quite unique hope you found this video helpful or in any way informative and if you have please do take one second hit the like button below and thanks for watching